Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the new Scared Ice Island Monster High dolls. Um, so in this video I am going to focus on Draculaura and Claudine and then the next one, this going to be like a two-parter, I'm going to do Frankie and Heath in a separate video. I thought about doing all four of them together in one video and then I thought that might be too long and then I thought about doing a review for each one individually. And then I was like, these are budget dolls, so they'd be very quick videos. So I figured I'd kind of do like a happy medium and do two together and then two in another video. I don't know. Mainly doing Claudine and Draculaura together first because they've been getting put together a lot recently, especially with the releases of the um, Costco and Sands exclusive sets with the car and the bedroom playset. There's one for each and they're, you know, together. And then the... Um, Fabulous Pets 2-pack, which I actually just reviewed uh, Cleo, so if you would go watch that video if you're interested. Um, so I figured I might as well do them together, and then I just, you know, Frankie and Heath are left, so I just put them together. Um, but yeah, so I am going to go ahead and get these two out of their boxes, and I'll kind of look at them each individually one-on-one, -on -one, or one by one, got it. Just like the last video, this is at like 2 a.m., Please forgive me. <laughs> I don't know why I do these so late, but it is what it is. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get these two out of the box and we'll take a closer look at each one. Also, I just noticed before I open them, this is another reason why I want to open Draculaura first, because this piece of hair has been bothering me since I got her in a few days ago. Also, I got these dolls in, like, I think I got Claudine first and she came in like almost a week ago and then I got Heath yesterday. So... They all came in at random times throughout the week, so that's why I also just kind of waited to do all review at one time instead of doing individual ones. But yeah, let me get her out of the box. I need to quit rambling. This is why you don't record reviews at two in the morning because I can't even think straight and I keep jumping around and I didn't even show off the packaging for any of these yet. So I'm glad I didn't open them. I'm glad I'm remembering right before I do something. So yeah, here is the front of Draculaura's packaging. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and open her first. I need to cut that piece of hair. We have her Darko artwork, stunning as always. Love it, and then her name Draculaura, the Scared Ice Island logo. This is by Mattel, obviously, four plus. And then we have some warnings out at the bottom. Nothing on the sides, it's just, you know, plastic. This side does have like an embossed Monster High logo. Um, yeah, also these dolls are $17.99. I got them all on Amazon. Um, they are technically budget dolls. Um, honestly, I will say all the, you know, like, besides Heath, they all have saran hair. So that alone for a budget line, when the <laughs> Draculaura and Claudine 2 pack for the, um, the Fabulous Pets line, Claudine doesn't even have saran on that doll for a $50 set. So I will say, these really just, you know, they screamed at me instantly just for the hair alone and Dracula is a super cute because I love the black with pink streaks and I feel like we've been getting a lot of the split dye which I'm not against but I just uh I miss just the black with pink streaks it's just so iconically just Draculaura but anyways enough rambling um back of the box we have all their artwork and then it is different for each one um so Draculaura's full artwork the Scared Ice Island logo this cute like sunset background the back of these packages are really cute on their own and we have some palm trees with little skelet coconuts on there some bats um the other dolls in the line and then we have a little synopsis right here um feel free to pause and read that i don't really feel like reading it's 2 a.m again i have i mentioned it's 2 a.m <laughs> and then it's in different languages and then just some more warnings and stuff and yeah the mattel logo and if you are still looking for them I don't know where you would scan this to find them in stores. Um, I did get these on Amazon, but here's the barcode for Dracula in case you want it. And then here's Claudine's package before I open her. Same thing. Um, same packaging, just, you know, different artwork, her name, Scared Ice Island. And then the back, it's pretty much the same except for, you know, her artwork is, you know, pushed forward. And then here is... Um, Claudine's barcode if you are looking for her. So yeah, let me get these out of the box because, oops, slow down, um, so we can get them out because clearly Claudine is ready. So let's get it. All right, so Draculaura is now out of the box and really quick before we get into her, I'm gonna go over her accessories. So she does have this SPF 5000, 
super cute. Um, this is the same one as the one that comes with her basic doll. It's just a different sticker, I believe. I, I have her. I just, I haven't seen this piece in a while, so don't remember if it's the same. I do know these glasses are the same. They're just a different color from her core doll. Instead of being that dark gray black color, they are this pink color, which they're really cute. I like it. I mean, this is, oh, okay. I mean, these make sense coming with this doll versus her core doll, so not mad at it. Um, so yeah, those are those two. And then I put her drink in her hand. She comes with this cute little drink um, with like little bat wings, like a little either lemon or orange slice on it. And then she also has this really cute, almost like um, wicker bag, um, almost like a wicker basket material, um, but it's like a bat shaped purse. I think it's super cute. And there's this little uh, pink charm on the front really cute bag and really cute accessory in general i this is probably one of my favorite bags from her so far out of g3 i just i really like how this looks and then here is Draki laura with claudia in the background but yeah so she has this pink sun hat with little uh bat cutouts i'll even do like a top view there is a black um little like bow with like the bat wings and the heart in the middle and these bat cutouts go all the way around and then she does have a side part with the black and pink hair. Oh my god, so sorry, my camera was trying to focus. Um, for her face, she has her regular uh, blackish brown eyebrows. She has yellow and pink eyeshadow with her normal pink eyes. She has her black little heart under her, yeah, under her right eye on the top of her cheek. And then she does have a pink lip, which makes sense for this line. It would have been cute if it was black, but I feel like the pink is fine. Um, she does have these earrings. They are pink. They're like a translucent kind of pink with yellow suns painted onto them. Let me back up a little bit. Yeah, sorry. There's a little bit of a glare, um, or not a glare, a shadow. I have like a small ring light beside me and it's only doing so much right now. But yeah, um, these are budget dolls. So they are on the budget bodies. So they don't have the chest articulation like most of the deluxe dolls or the regular dolls do. Um, but moving down to her outfit, she is wearing a two-piece bathing suit. It is pink with spider webs on it. Um, and then she has black spaghetti straps with black, almost like bat wing, just decorative straps going around her um, shoulders. Super cute with that same, they're not really bat wing, it's just like triangle shape, but they're I feel like they're meant to look like bat wings. And that same pattern is on the very bottom of the top. And then her bottoms underneath the cover-up are the same print. I will take the cover-up off in a second. But her cover-up is pink and black with the same, like, sun spiderweb motif as her earrings. Super cute. There's her handbag again. And then down in her shoes. I love the shoe mold. Very simple. There's no paint detail, but I love it. Um, they're pink. They have a heart heel. Um, they have, like, a spiderweb detail in the back. And they just have... Um, with pink straps super cute super basic but i love them um and then really quickly let me take off her cover up so underneath her cover up this is what her bottoms look like again same print as the top i went ahead and just picked it up so i can do like a 360 um the bottoms is that velcro yes they do have velcro and so does the top again same print um and then this is her hair from the back i did cut off that random piece that was hanging down i I, it was bothering me so much. And this is the back of her hat. And yeah, that's pretty much just Draculaura. Very basic. I love her so much though. Um, so let me go ahead and get out her friend, Claudine, who has a very long giraffe neck. All right, and for Claudine's accessories, she has this cute little book. Oh my God. She has this cute little book. Um, these look like they're backgrounders from G1. There might be a reference to that. I don't know. I just... I think somebody else said these are supposed to be characters that were used in G1, like background characters. So cool. If not, I don't know anything about that. Um, it's just a simple plastic piece. It doesn't open or anything. No, it's just a solid piece. And <laughs> Dracula, we just, we, we're not talking about you right now. Anyways, okay, well before <laughs> Dracula decided to fall over, I don't have doll stands for these dolls right now. Like I do have some extra stands. I just, 
again, 2 a.m. I didn't really prepare for these videos. I just kind of spurred the moment. I was like, I need to record. I just, I want to record these videos and open these dolls just on camera for you guys and for myself. I was really ready to get into these, so I didn't really prepare. But yeah, this is Claudine's glasses mold. These are a, moon, oh my God, a new mold. Um, it is a translucent green with green crescent moons as the lenses and the green frames. Pretty cute. And then we have this translucent purple bag. Also new mold. I love this. The water bottle, I believe, is the same mold as the bottle that comes with Claude's basic doll. I don't have him, so I'm not sure, but I feel like I've seen this piece, though, in just his stock images and just in person whenever I see him in general. Um, it's a cute mold. The top does come off, so it's super nice. So, yeah, those are all of Claudia's accessories besides the ones she's wearing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's get into Claudine. I wanted to bring Claudine closer to the light, so I did move her. So now she is standing in front of Jackie Laura. Not your time. It's time for her now. So yeah, she does have one earring. It is a little cluster. I'm pretty sure she's a star with a moon. There's like a little chain in the middle. Um, she just has the one earring. Her other ear is not pierced, but there is like a small hole. It's like not cut out. It's just like an indention of the hole. Interesting. Um, but yeah, so just the one earring. She is wearing a purple visor. Um, this is actually my first G3 Claudine with um, this color blend in the Saran. All my other Claudines with this hair color are the Poly. Actually, I think my only other Claudine besides Monster Ball is her basic. Just because I hate the Poly and hers is always so irritating because it's like that curly Poly and it sucks. But this is, and I can confirm, Saran, which is another reason why... She keeps falling. I'm just gonna move her. I'm tired of fixing her. Anyways, back to Claudine. Um, for her face, she does have her painted edges, super cute. And then for her face, oh my god, I already said her face, but um, makeup wise, she is wearing um, some lime green and purple eye makeup. She has her freckles and her painted nose and a baby pink lip. She does have her edges painted. They are kind of covered because of how her hair is pulled down or pulled back. Um, so you can't really see them, but you kind of see them peeking through right there. Um, but I just, this color blend being in Saran is so nice. I know people have been finding, um, her core doll with the Saran variant. I haven't found her yet. Um, I ordered one recently, like last weekend, and I actually got her in the day before I got this Claudine in. I already returned her because she ended up being a poly variant and I already have a poly. Um, so I don't need two. So I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna return her. If I find her in the wild, I find her. If not, cool. I'm content with this one for right now. So yeah, so that is her face. For some reason, this Claudine has a really long neck. I don't, my other Claudine, like my basic Claudine is somewhere. I have no clue where she is right now. She might be in a bin, um, just because I tend to store a lot of my dolls away. Um, some of my keep out, some I don't. But yeah, she just has a very long neck. I don't hate it, but it's very just odd. But moving down, she is wearing a one-piece bathing suit. It has cutouts around the waist. I'll take off her pants cover up in a second, but it does have long sleeves. And it's almost like a cheetah print, almost. It feels like cheetah print, but it's not. It's weird, but it's um, lime green with black, purple, and white accents. And then moving down, we have her pants, which um, are also a very funky design. Um, it has a black waistband. And the pants material is really soft, um, but it has like blue, green, um, kind of like a magenta in there, purple, a lot of colors. And then my one thing about this doll is the shoes. I love this mold. The molding is cute. Nothing wrong with the mold itself. I just want to know why this shade of pink and just why pink in general. I feel like they should have done like just a translucent purple, even though I feel like they've been doing a lot of translucent purple shoes on Cleo. Oh my god, I almost said Cleo. On Claudine. But anyways, there are little crescent moons on the straps right here. And the sides, I don't even know what print this is. I don't know. But yeah, they're just little wedges. I do love this mold. I love them a lot. Just the color. Oh my god, girl. Even if they were the same color as her visor, that would have been fine. Or I don't know about translucent green for these. But even a black, just black um, sandals would have been nice. I just, I don't like this pink, but I love the shoe molds. I'm very conflicted. 
Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for Claudine. So um, bring back her beastie Dracula Laura in here. So yeah, that was it for these two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I feel like I've been recording this one for a minute right now, even though it probably doesn't feel like that long. It's just really late for me. Um, yeah, like I said, my next video will be of the Frankie and the Heath from this line. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. Um, do you like these dolls? I personally, my opinion, I like these a lot. And especially for the price point, the $17.99, they're pretty good for what they are. I love these. Um, if y'all don't mind, give this video a like, subscribe. It would help out the channel a lot. I'm trying to do more reviews on this channel. I kind of go in and out with recording and just staying active on here in general. So I'm trying to stay more active on here. Um, so yeah, I will see y'all in my next video. Uh, yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye. And she fell. Okay, cool. We're done.